finally a set of true wireless earbuds worth way more than the $30 I spent to buy them. I've been trying to find a pair of in-ear headphones for everyday use, not specialty needs, not specifically for watching movies and another pair for exercising, not that I do that, another pair for walking the dog, another pair for audiobooks and podcasts. No, 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 no. I'm a simple man and simple men like simple products. And that's exactly what I'm holding in my hands. The JBL Vibe 100 TWS. Are they perfect? Let's find out. So these bad boys normally retail for $50 at all major retailers, but they have recently been marked down to $29.99 or $30. Bucks. Let's just call a spade a spade. They've been marked down to $30. So I said, why not? Get a $50 pair of earphones for $30. Bucks. Be a fool not to, right? So let's go through the packaging contents. Inside, you'll find a, an orange USB-C cable to USB-A, which is pretty funky. I like it. It's, it's, you know, you'll never not spot it if you misplace it, right? I mean, it's pretty easy to spot. And you'll also get a pretty hefty warranty card and quick start guide. I mean, there's really nothing much quick about this quick start guide, but it is what it is. Uh, you also get a extra set of small and large air tips in case your air canals don't fit the medium that comes default installed on these things. And as you can see, you get the charging case and the headphones, the earphones themselves. So it's pretty simple packaging, and I like that. I mean, yes, I could have gone with less paper, you know, like in the instruction manual, because it's, let's be honest, it's just earbuds. But whatever. All right, now let's talk about build and comfort. So these things are actually pretty comfortable. They don't stick out too far. I don't feel like uh, Frankenstein's a monster when I'm wearing these things. I mean, I've worn uh, smaller ones, as you can tell by this comparison. But uh, overall, I don't mind how they look at all. And um, like I said, they're pretty comfortable. I've worn them for up to three hours. And then at that point, I start getting some ear fatigue in my right ear. I assume my right ear canal is smaller than my left ear canal. Otherwise, I would probably not have any issues just like my left ear. Um, with that said, you know, I can wear the Tozo T10s all day. Um, so, but these sure are much more comfortable than the JLab Go Air Pops that I just reviewed. These are way more comfortable than those. I tell you what, you can't sleep with these things either. They do stick out just far enough to create enough pressure on your ear when you're resting against a pillow or a cushion that it makes it really uncomfortable because it pushes the earbud in too far. Now let's talk about the case. I'm not a fan of this open case design. You know, I prefer the lid because the way I envision this is if you've got these in your pocket, backpack, or you know, a purse or whatever, you're, you're probably going to jostle them around enough where despite the fact that there's a magnet holding these things in, I mean, they're not going anywhere, that there's enough movement in bags especially that I wouldn't be surprised if these things get dislodged. And if they get dislodged, there's more opportunity for damage. So I am really against this open case design that seems to be getting a little more popular lately. So hopefully we'll see that go away. But the case does have a USB-C plug. Uh, it does not have wireless charging at all. But, you know, for the price point, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. You know, or for the same price point, you can get wireless charging with the Tozos. So, you know, it's it, these things better sound good is my point compared to the Tozos if I'm going to make these my everyday is my point. All right, so let's... Let's just blast through the tech specs because I know they can be kind of boring depending on what you're here on this video looking for. So Bluetooth is 5.0, although I tried pairing it to two devices at the same time and I had no luck. I could only pair it to one device at a time. So I tried pairing it to my Fire Stick while I had it paired to my phone. Didn't work. Vice versa, same thing. Had no luck. So one device at a time, at least in my experience. Now let's talk about the speakers. These things are Dookie. I mean, for earbuds, they are 8 millimeter dynamic drivers in there. And let me tell you what, it is so worth it. These things thump. I love the bass that comes out of these things. Now, it depends on what kind of listener you are and what you're using your earbuds for. But let me tell you what, I know we're not even in the sound mode yet, but these things get me so excited at how rich they sound. And 
it's just like everything sounded so much nicer so much nicer i mean i'm not even talking about with wavelets auto eq on i'm talking about straight up out of the box these things sounded amazing but we'll get more into that later i just really had to brag about how good the bass is with these things so if you're a bass head like me and you love that man get yourself these things right now my video is not even done yet and i'm already telling you go get yourself a pair of these things if you like bass you're gonna love them let's talk about the weight of these things right so each earbud weighs 5.1 grams which we've seen others come in smaller like in the four point and x grams range uh which does probably you know justify why i did feel some ear fatigue so you know in comparison these probably are the biggest earbuds that i've seen that i've used in a long time they stick out the furthest, although not too bad, but it's understandable with the size of the driver that these things have, that they would weigh a little bit more. Each earpiece has a 45 milliamp hour battery inside of them, which is larger than other earbuds that I've reviewed, which is nice. And the case itself has a surprisingly large 550 milliamp hour battery inside of it as well. Playback time on a single charge for the earbuds is five hours, according to the manufacturer. The headphones take about two hours to recharge in the case itself, and there is no quick charge, meaning, you know, if you are you just wanna get like an extra hour or two out of these things and you plug it in for an extra five, 10 minutes, it doesn't have that feature. Let's give this a mic test and let's just see how it sounds. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. Have you heard about the chocolate record player? It sounds pretty sweet. All right, so now let's talk about the controls. And to me, this is a big area where these things lack. Um, there's no volume control, which is so baffling to me. Baffling. So what controls does it have? Well, first off, let's talk about the button. There's no touch sensor, which I don't think is a good thing. I, I, I prefer a touch sensor on my earbuds because, you know, you're pushing against your ear canal itself. These things come with a push button. The push button's not too bad. It's not like you have to press that hard. So I'm, I'm probably just being a little too vain when it comes to my complaints here. But it's the little things like the touch sensors that I really do enjoy. As long as they're not too sensitive that every time you touch them, it pauses your music because that can be a nuisance too. Um, the other thing I don't like is it's the same controls on each ear, right? So normally you have like a controls for left ear, controls for right ear, like volume down, volume up. It has room for that. Well, in this case, they both do the same thing. So one touch, whether it's your left ear or your right ear, is play and pause. Two touches is to go forward a track. Three taps, three pushes, is to go back a track. And a long press is to activate your voice assistant on your phone. All right, let's talk about sound. I am so excited to talk about this. These things sound amazing, amazing. No, it doesn't sound muddy in the lows, and the highs sound nice and crisp. And the mids, you would think, would sound meh but they sound good enough. And I'll take good enough in the mids because of the kind of music I listen to. You know, I, like I started listening to a, an old Far Side album and it just sounded amazing, amazing. And when I was able to listen to the, the few parts of a movie, I was watching the Batman movie once again. I was also watching a little bit of the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, because Amazon has that new series coming out. So I kind of want to rewatch stuff. Anyway, I digress. Um, they sounded great. They sounded really good. Now, only when I did play some mid-range focus tracks, like Anne Sophie Von Otter's Baby Plays Around, you know, her voice is really all about the mids. And it didn't it didn't have a wow factor, but it didn't sound bad. You know what I mean? Like, that's the best way I can put it is, you know, like I know most of the instruments and most vocals are in that mid-range and they sound good. They don't sound great. It doesn't sound muffled or, or anything's wrong. So in my opinion so far, I'm just going to throw this right out there. Out of all the earbuds that I've uh, reviewed to date, these things sound the best. And I'm not even talking about adding the auto EQ yet. So now what I did was I threw on Spotify and I turned on my Wavelet app because, you know, Wavelet's only compatible with Spotify and a few other apps. And it... It balanced everything. There is an auto EQ setting for these JBL Vibe 100 TWS. There's definitely an auto EQ preset there. However, when it does its job and actually balances out the audio, it doesn't sound as good to me. You know, like nothing, it doesn't sound as rich as it does if the bass were a little heavier. Now, again, you know, I've, I've given you my caveat a billion times. I'm going to do it again. I'm not a sound engineer and I'm not even an audiophile. I'm just an audio enthusiast. I don't say just because there's nothing wrong with that. 
And if you're an audio enthusiast as well, I think you, you know you have a very subjective opinion, just like I do. And if your favorite type of music or the, what you're most often listening to or watching, for example, movies and TV shows, you're going to love these things. Okay? These things are fantastic. I don't like even using the Wavelet app with these. Um, whereas with like the Tozo 10s, I, I praise them now where initially I didn't before I tested them with the Wavelet app. They only sound good with using the Wavelet app. And that's not really convenient either because it's not like I can use the Wavelet app when I'm watching my Fire TV, when I'm watching my HBO Max movies, etc. So these, in terms of all around sound, are the best earbuds that I've reviewed yet. I'll say it again. The best. All right, so you've heard me compare these things to other, like the Tozo T10s. The, you have, you, for the same price point, you can go T, Tozo T6. Um, you have the, the JLab Go Airs, which are $30, or the previous ones that I just reviewed, the JLab Go Air Pops for $20. And I'm talking about like in that price point, these are the, the, the no doubt, these are like the numero uno best ones that you can get. The only thing that is stopping me from saying that they are perfect is the fact that there is no case cover is the fact that i can't wear these things in my right ear for more than three or four hours because it does start bothering me and it's the fact that there's no wireless charging on these things because i love to be able to just set these things down like i do with my tozos and just put them on my wireless charger on my night table and when i wake up in the morning they're all fully charged and ready to go for another day of listening to awesome movies and songs and podcasts and whatever I'm else I'm, whatever else I'm in the mood for. So unfortunately my quest does continue to find that perfect pair of earbuds, but but these will suffice until I find that perfect pair. If you have any suggestions of around the same price point any other earbuds or in-ear headphones that I should check out, please leave a comment down below. I've actually ordered I got three more coming in from Amazon. So I'll be having more reviews on those, and then when I'm all done the reviews, I'm going to do a complete comparison video um, just to show. I'll, I'll rank them and, and give you my opinion on which one's worst, best, etc. But if you've got a specific pair that you recommend, I would love to know. Um, make sure I'm not missing out on anything. I'm on the hunt for that perfect pair. Help me out. Help me out here. All right. Until next video, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more great videos like this, you know the drill. Subscribe. Please subscribe. I love you. Thanks for watching. Peace.